Hello Queens and welcome to yet another stream of Layers of Fear 2. I am Gina aka the Gina Chew. How are you guys doing? I hope you're having a lovely weekend. Um, I am doing alright. Uh, was in a lot of pain about an hour ago. Had some pretty gnarly muscle spasms in my shoulder. It's getting better little by little but the muscle spasms hurt like a bitch. <laughs> but I am good. I'm feeling better and I'm ready to get my ass scared off into the heavens. So I am excited to just load this bitch up and see how much we have left of Layers of Fear 2. I don't even know. And then once we finish it, I'm going to have to see if there's walkthroughs yet for different endings, if there are multiple endings, and see what we're going to do about getting all of the endings because I'm really loving this game and I'm interested to see what all the endings are. We did it with the first Layers of Fear. We might as well do it with this Layers of Fear, right? Since we all seem to be enjoying it. So I am really excited for that. Um, otherwise, you know, it's been kind of, uh, I guess, kind of a chill weekend. Usually you have board game nights on Fridays. Our board game night was canceled this week, so I was kind of just chilling at home. Had some pizza with my brother and some of our friends. And, uh... And then this morning I went grocery shopping and caught up on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure with my brother. We were like three episodes behind because we've both been really busy and unable to really find the time to uh, to watch it together. But we caught up and it's so good. Um, I've read the manga, he hasn't, so just watching his mind get blown at um, the, the abilities of uh, Silver Chariot Requiem has been beautiful um exciting hello shelties how are you yes indeed that is the name of this act is forever how are you my darling how are you okay yeah this is what we walked in when we stopped last we are still kind of in this underwater world type of a thing okay we're back with the pirate ship level stuff this looks like yeah the same pirate ship scene we've run into like two or three other times now at this point. Uh, still no thing over there. We do have something over here that we can open up. It's more treasure. That's still locked. And this is where we just were. Did they... Oh, maybe it didn't save and I'm still behind? No. Maybe it didn't save. I thought that it saved when I... Yeah, I don't think it saved. I'm pretty sure it saved when I quit last time. But okay. We'll do this again. Goodbye. Here's this glowing chest of absolutely nothing. Uh, I know some other way opens up that we did not see, that uh, I didn't see before. So I'm just going to mess with stuff until it opens, because I think it was... Or did we not figure out where to go from here yet? No, we did figure out. It was over here. Right! Right! That's why we quit, because I died. Right! We were here, and I died, and I gave up. Yep! Yep! Now I remember, yep! Alright, so, remembering this, this is like a maze, and the guys are after me, and I just have to get farther away from them, but I got into a point where I was, like, making loops and really fucking up. Could take us a couple times to get through this. I think the best way to do it, honestly, is to just run. Oh god, he's over there! Uh, okay. So, let's not go to the left at that point. Let's go to the right instead. Because he's clearly on my dick. So I didn't really know where to go there. 
Okay, here we go. Found it. Okay. No! What happened? Did I die? Was that part of the game? Okay, I think that was part of the game. Okay, cool. I noticed there was a green light and it seemed like a good thing to go towards, so that's what it did. I went towards the green light. And, uh, it, it availed me. I, I have seemed to have moved to the next part of the game. Excellent. Fantastic. Also, can we talk about how fucking creepy that is being in a fucking sea of mannequins? Yes, please and thank you. I also wanted to apologize for my face, by the way. I haven't worn makeup in a while. My allergies have been bothering me, and with my shoulder hurting, I've just been like, I don't want to put in all the painful time and effort. Alright, here we go again with the person. It looks like this person's more complete. We have the, the heart, the head, we've got the little kid there on the shoulder. We've got the leg in the monitor, the hand in the monitor. Those legs are twitching like a bitchin'. Um, I guess we're gonna play some music and make him dance. That seems to be the what the game wants How to do. How many times have I tried to put the pieces back together just to watch them fall apart? Okay, I can't go over here. I might have to continue to crank. Right, there we go. Okay, he's done. We cannot be forever. Woo! Are those eyeballs? Oh, those are a hundred percent eyeballs. Those are great A eyeballs, my friend. Well, I'm safe to say that despite the number of eyeballs, I still can't see where this scene is going. I assume we're gonna have to go down into this this hole. I assume it wants us to jump into the hole. So um let's just do it. Okay, so this is the land of eyeballs. Apparently this is where all the eyeballs live. And you put your eyeballs in the washing machine and you'll, you always lose one. This is where they go. They're like socks that way. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Okay, I'm done. Goodbye. Alright, so it definitely looks like we're walking on the bottom of the sea. And there is a bunch of mannequin heads on spikes. They got a big film reel over here. Pirate stuff. But it looks like we're walking on the bottom of the ocean. Like if you if you were in like a you know, like a like a suit with an oxygen tank and you were walking on the bottom of the ocean, I feel like this is what it would look like. Without the mannequin heads, of course. <laughs> How's your weekend been, Sheltz? This must be the ship. Oh, also we have something here. Finally, I understand the way out. It's here in me, me, you. Who are you? That's a very good question. Tiring? I'm sorry to hear that. And it's like not tiring though, let's be honest. Hold on, I'm gonna pop up on my laptop. Fuck you. Okay, there's somebody burning over a fire. This sounds like freaking... How long can a man burn before he turns to ash? How could you know? Of all the wasted years, of all the pain it took to bring you here, you don't even know who you are. No, I don't. I am still not quite sure who we are, to be honest. We may just be the actor. I could be anybody. I could be Lily. I could be James. I could be anybody. I could be the captain. I could be the director. I could be whoever I want to be, I suppose, as long as I build the character.
We've moved back into the room now. How many times must a man die before he can truly live? And now the picture's How different. Many times. Yeah, we're back in the room again. Picture's changed again slightly. Oh look, now he's not really hanging, he's just kind of chilling there. Look at him! This is what happens when you fail to take control. Yeah, I didn't take control and pick either one, I guess, so I guess this is... Maybe this is my, my punishment for not going one way or the other. I didn't even really realize what was going on until the very end, to be honest with you. Call me stupid. These are these are all the faces I could be. I feel like a faceless man, like Arya from Game of Thrones. Just be whoever I want to fucking be. So th I guess that's a picture of us incomplete because we couldn't choose who we are. We didn't have the strength to pick one or the other. I'm afraid what I have to do is turn around and open that door again, and I'm not going to like what's behind it. Look yep! Twisted. Yep! Fun. Yep! Just So does that mean we were the monster? What do y'all think? Does that mean we were the monster? Maybe the monster that's been chasing us all along is our indecision. <laughs> Maybe the real monster is the friends we've made along the way. Alright, so this is where the fire was, so I guess we get to go here now. So maybe at that point we would have seen James or Lily if we would have gone one way or the other. I don't know. If this is the ending, first of all, it's gonna be a pretty short stream. <laughs> Second of all, the boy that never speaks. Have you found a boy? Those are all people. Oh. Are they T-posing? Alright, so T-posing, if you know anything about video games where they're like that, T-posing is, in games, usually some kind of an error. Like, that's usually just like when you're doing model, like when you're 3D modeling, uh, like a character in a video game, that's kind of like their generic pose is just a T-pose with their arms out and their legs straight. And then you can, you know, use some kind of a 3D modeling program to like move them and manipulate them however you may want to to see how they move. Um, and so I guess because in the mind of a gamer T-posing is usually a sign that there's been some kind of error or glitch or something in the game has broken, that people in T-poses are just kind of fucking creepy. You know what I mean? It's uh, weird. I don't like the fact that they're T-posing. What is this? I don't know. Oh, it looks like a lever. Like, look at that. Look at that. They're T-posing all holding up this person. I guess this is supposed to be us, incomplete, or whatever. Holding us up with all these pictures of all these dead people. Staring at us. And they're holding us up, elevating us. And it's up to us to finally put... I don't know what we're doing actually here. Let's... Why is that so hard? Oh. Let me just see what this was. 
Repair, restore, rebuild. Rebuild what was once broken. At least try. I did think about trying to just walk past it, but I just figured let's pull the fucking lever. Like, why not? Alright, so I guess you're just gonna sit there and do that for the rest of your life. So sorry to hear. I'm just gonna go over here. Thanks. Thoughts. Thoughts and prayers. Okay, we now look like we're getting to like actual parts of the, the ship, like legitimately parts of the ship. Oh, here we go! Oh, this is what was in the room! Do you know the way? Ooh. You build one character, you destroy the other. There's no other way. Okay, so the game warned us you gotta pick one, you and I kinda didn't reason, pick up on it. You see through it. You cut away the strings. You hesitate. You look for a better way. Nothing is ever easy. Mm -hmm. You struggle against the current. You fight against all odds. Ah. So everything after this is new. There is no right or wrong. Well, I think there, there is. is. James! Lily! Listen to me! You have to go! No! I'm not leaving! I'll, I'll find a way to reach you! I know you will! You're strong! Stronger than you know! We'll be together again! No matter how long it takes, I will find you! I will- I was gonna say, are we waking back up here now? Ooh! Oh, okay. Okay, so now I guess we're kind of James, quote-unquote. Um, so I guess, yeah, so I guess the, the ship went down. Um, and we got separated. Is this the start? I don't remember. I don't think so. The start of the game is in that room, and I assume that's where we would show up again. This looks like the actual aftermath of the ship. I do know we've been here before. No, this is- the start of the game is in that room. If I woke up in the room and then had to start building the character over again, that would be kind of lame because the first game already did that. Oh! Oh. I'm not controlling this. Hands off. It's all the pirate stuff. And so, here we are again. How many times has it come? <laughs> Is that the rat woman? Is that the rat woman that the artist drew? You don't even know what you are. An artist giving an unfocused performance. A creature trapped in a prison of its own making. I know what you came for. What you think you want. 
Okay, so, this is the first big scene that we had, where we had to choose who to shoot. So it wanted us to shoot the woman. Um, I'm going to try to do what it wants us to do, I guess, and see how that works. You want to disobey? Hmm. Alright, let's try to disobey then, as much as we can. Um, so, I, I have thoughts. My thought, the thought that I would like to share with you right now at this exact moment is this. I'm pretty sure that woman is the rat lady that the artist drew in the first game. And if that is the case, then I would consider that to be very clear confirmation that James does grow up to, in fact, be the artist. And if this is some kind of trauma that happened to him as a child, it makes sense that he would wind up drawing the rat woman as an adult and have a hyper-focused obsession with rats. Not just because of the rat woman, but because of the fact that there were rats all over that ship. Um, alright, so let's try to disobey, so... Ooh! Is that the end? Yep! Fuck me! Uh, formless, succumb to madness. I didn't realize how close I was to the ending last time I played. Well, so, obviously, if there's going to be multiple endings, this kind of an ending would be the first ending that I would expect to get because I'm going in blind and I have no idea what I'm doing. And I'm just kind of winging it and trying to do everything. And I assume it's similar to the first game in that in order to go one way or the other, you really have to do certain things or pick up certain stuff but not pick up others. And I clearly missed stuff to pick up. Uh, quite a number of things. Uh, I missed a bunch of posters. I, uh, those, those things on that pedestal, those four pedestals with, like, the book pedestal in the middle on the top floor of that little cabin that was, like, our home base. Um, I only filled in one of those with an item. Um, so I feel like I obviously missed the other three. I missed a whole bunch of slides, obviously. I missed at least one voice recording, um, that I know of. Um, so there's definitely stuff that we haven't seen yet, and that may or may not make a difference. Um, yo, can we give it up for this voice cast, though? The voices were great. Rat Queen! Okay, so she's officially the Rat Queen. Okay, that's interesting. Adult Lily, Adult James. That's interesting. Adult Lily, Adult James. Hmm. Then my question becomes, who's Adult James? Is that the narrating voice? Was it another voice that we had been hearing? That's another thing that I found interesting about this game is the plot was, at least in my opinion, um, a lot less obvious to discern. Not that I thought that the layer, the first plot of Layers of Fear was like plainly pointed out, but like we got it, you know what I mean? Like I felt like as I was playing with it, I'm like, okay, I kind of get what it's doing. And I feel like, you know, they were really smart about it. They were really smart about it here too. I really enjoyed this game. I am dying to see what the other endings are about and play through them to get that experience of going one way or the other. Um, so I am definitely going to look into that for um, next stream and um, see if there is kind of a walkthrough or some kind of a, a guide to direct me how to get one ending or the other yet. I mean, the internet works pretty fast, so I assume there is, but you never know. Um, 
And then after that, I have some ideas we were talking about in the Discord of uh, the next game we want to play. Um, I haven't touched FF14 in a while. We played Neverwinter a little bit lately. But um, I'm going to start doing maybe some more like old school RPGs and stuff. Figure why not, right? Um, but I definitely want to play through this game and get the other endings at least. If you guys are cool with seeing that, I think you guys would be interested in seeing that. Uh, I really like the series. Um, I feel like I enjoyed the first game more than this game. But I feel like that tends to happen with sequels. So I was expecting that coming in. So I'm certainly not disappointed in any way by this game. Um, because I, I expected to not quite enjoy it as much as the first game. It's still a great game. Um, I feel like there's just something really super special about the first game and the way that it was put together. That... Um, you know, may maybe I'll have more of a sense of that if I get the other endings and see everything that the game has to offer. Um, because sometimes I watch, like, playthroughs of the first Layers of Fear and I'm shocked. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Hold on, queens! New Game Plus has been unlocked. Now you can choose the act you wish to replay from the cabin's film projector, change your decisions and rebuild your character, find new story items and gather the ones you've missed, Unlock all the achievements and discover otherworldly secrets hidden across the ship. So, one of the things that I did find annoying about, um, playing the, uh, let me, let me shut this off because the music is getting a little loud. Um, one of the things that I did, uh, find a little annoying about having to play through again, um, with the first layers of fear is that you had to start from the beginning and go through the whole game. Um, even though you knew, like, exactly what you wanted to change, it seems like this new game plus, um, facilitates that a little easier. Like, oh, shoot, I accidentally, you know, did what the, the, the narrator wanted me to do in that scene in Act 3 instead of going against it. Now, instead of going through the entire fucking game over again, you could just jump in from Act 3 and play it from there. Um, so that seems pretty useful. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be taking advantage of that. It'll depend on what information I can find. But I definitely want to see what other endings there are. I have a feeling there are other endings. Obviously, since New Game Plus has given us the option to change our choices and rebuild our character. Obviously, there is some kind of payoff for doing so. I would assume it would be other endings. I think that's a safe assumption. Um, shut the fuck up, phone. Uh, let me see what I can find. Let's chat a little bit while I see, um... Boop! There's guides, there's guides. I don't know how good these guides are. Getting different endings. Lays of Fear has two different endings. Oh, three of them. The Flame, the Forever, and the Formless. So the Formless ending was obviously the one we got. And apparently you get that when you obey two commands and disobey two others. Which is exactly what I did completely... C coincidentally. It doesn't matter which act it is as long as your choices are neutral. Yeah. So to get one of the endings, okay. So it looks like really what ma the, the, the parts of the game that really matter are those major scenes. Um... I don't... Uh, it's telling me which choices to make for each one. Um, yeah, it looks like you got to completely obey or completely disobey to get one or the other. Um, so... 
So that's really interesting. All right, well, that makes getting the endings very easy. Um, if that's the only thing that actually matters, I'll have to look into it. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's all she wrote for now, Queens. Um, so I think with that, um, I guess I might as well end the stream. Um, because there's not a lot of us here. And my shoulder is still kind of sore from the absolute ridiculousness of the muscle spasms that I was dealing with before. Um, I'm just, I'm shocked that the endings are that easy to get. I guess maybe they thought people might not like. Huh. Oh. Oh, there is a fourth secret ending, apparently, to find mysterious things hidden in each act, which I guess is what that last bullet point in the New Game Plus is referring to, that there was, you know, supernatural secrets to find. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to look into this and get more, uh, details. Um, you did say that there was four. Um, I don't know if they were the four that you said, although three of them at least are, where you said, because you said the four were choosing Lily, choosing James, choosing them both, or choosing neither. It seems like the three major ones are choosing Lily, choosing James, or refusing to go full in on either one, and therefore becoming this formless creature who cannot properly commit to building their character. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into it though, and we are definitely going to go at it, um, the next time that we stream. It should be tomorrow night. Let's see if I can get some answers tomorrow. Um, tomorrow night stream should be normal time. Um, we're doing something in the afternoon with my dad for Father's Day, so that won't be an issue. Um, yeah, so thanks for joining me. Um, really enjoyed this game. Can't wait to jump into more of it and uh, see those other endings. I'm excited to experience them with you guys. And I do want to play through the game fully again with each of those characters. Like, you know, like maybe now that I've played through it once, I want to play through it fully without jumping through the different acts in the act select at least once to see if having played the whole game, if things that were said or shown earlier in the game have additional context now. You know what I mean? So I definitely want to do that at least once, so we definitely will, hopefully tomorrow, if I can find a walkthrough with some nice concrete answers that we can follow to get other endings. But uh, yeah, thanks so much for joining me. Your faces are beautiful, and uh, I hope you have a lovely evening. I'll see you all in the Discord.